Hey Taurus, this week we're building up to our full moon. It's at the end of the week and it's in Scorpio, which is your opposite sign. So when we have a full moon, the sun and the moon are opposite each other, which means obviously right now it's Taurus season. Uh, you might have a birthday, so happy birthday if you've got one this week. But it's Taurus season, which means that the sun is in Taurus, which means that we are kind of embodying the Taurus traits, you know, we're slowing down, we're wanting to rest a little bit more, we're wanting to pay more attention to uh, doing things that are smarter, not harder, working smarter, not harder, right? So this is kind of where we're at with Taurus season. But then having this full moon in Scorpio, it reminds us to um, take a look at our relationships, you know, where can we slow down and really connect intimately in our relationships? Um, Scorpio, it really desires intimacy above everything. And so if you find yourself this week really craving intimacy, this is a sign actually that there is some space within you to go into as well. Um, and to make sure that you choose, <coughs> excuse me, Make sure that you choose the people that you are intimate with, um, you know, uh, emotionally as well as sexually. Choose them very well because for Scorpio, this is important that we can trust the people that we share ourselves with. And so if you are kind of sharing your emotions with somebody and maybe they like they don't understand or they don't have the capacity to hold space for you, then that's not going to feel so good this week. So make sure that you choose the right people to kind of be vulnerable and to be intimate with so that you can, um, well, I mean, we can't always ensure that we're going to, you know, be completely validated, but to at least try and kind of, in, um, you know, have a little bit of it, basically. So your cards are the Ten of Cups and the Magician. So here you are manifesting your happily ever after. Whatever it is that you want at the moment is totally possible, but you need to believe in yourself. There is here the energy of um, knowing that you can make something happen and not letting your limiting beliefs stand in the way, you know, making sure, okay, yes, I know that I can have this with somebody or this in my life that I want, you know, this reality that I want to see. So I will start to take action because I believe in myself. This is the power of the magician. So have a magical full moon. If you want a reading, there are links below. Otherwise, subscribe and I'll see you next week.